So, I actually have something better than the majority. I have a piece of piss as all understanding. I mean, yeah, even though I'm constantly being attacked by insane child molesters having to watch every single fucking move that I make, like, pretend a lot narcissist, he's one, like, like, just all the time, all the time, half of them died, late Michael Allen Bellas was one, and, and, um, my dead husband, and everyone, like, I, you know, it, it's not nice to say, you know, <laughs> it's not. It's disgusting. It's the worst thing that a individual could possibly do. So it's horrible. It is really awful to say, you know, a family member. It is. What did Latoya Jackson go through telling the truth? It's hard to tell the truth because after you tell the truth, then she was attacked that much worse. Like, well... <sighs> Guess what, bitch? You're cut out of the inheritance. You're, you're not a billionaire along with all the other ones. You know, like, hey. You have to lie in order to be back in the money that she deserved. She's forced to lie. I, I'd like to talk to Latoya Jackson. I, I, yeah, we connect that way. And I wouldn't even want to talk about that much. I mean, I don't have to. It's disgusting to me. You know, it's done. You know, I want to enjoy watching some funny comedy movie with Latoya Jackson or something. Just relaxing, you know? Like, or like, um, whatever. Eating a really good meal with her. Um, listening to music that we agree on to watch or Whatever be cool to like uh be around nature somewhere like the redwood forest <laughs> it does the redwood forest even exist anymore with all the fucking toxins that are flying around in the air the chemtrails oh uh, that's a good, good question does that even exist anymore <laughs> like you know all America is falling apart, so, yeah. But is, is there a, a nice forest somewhere for me and Latoya to, like, sit down and have a little picnic with nobody watching us? <laughs> no cameras, no phones. Maybe a board game of Monopoly or Rummy. Uh, but, yeah, Monopoly is out of the question. <laughs> That's too complicated. Big, big board game. No, no. The little, the little, uh, Monopoly money, which is fly. <coughs> fly when, when. And you can just play Rummy. Me and Tory Jackson, somewhere in, in a forest where, you know, it didn't get, uh, the forest didn't get, um, all poisoned up. Certainly we could be in uh, East Palestine, Ohio, unless we want to die the next day. That's sad. That's really sad. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm stressed out to the max, I and mean, I can't even make a phone call. That's really bad. That really is. How hard it is for me, like, and oh, she's crazy. Her, she thinks her refrigerator. And no one can. I mean, there's so much hell going on in the world right now. I, I, you know, I ain't have to know that like forty truckers went on strike. Forty thousand. That's that's um a huge wake up call right there. Like, yeah, you think you. What happens when people go to the grocery store and there's no food? Because uh, the truck drivers, I mean, that's going to, like, cause uh, all grocery stores not to have any food maybe in a week. I, you know, that's 40,000 of them. That's a lot. So how many grocery stores 
are not going to have any food. I mean, that's a big problem right there. Everything's a problem. And the whole thing is, evil people created it all. It's all their master plan to depopulate. <laughs> They're fucking nuts. Why don't you just take your shortcut and just fucking bomb us? Like, you know. I don't know. A couple of evil, evil ones get together and just bomb us. Like, you know. Why take it? Why go the slow, suffering, painful way of... Seeing somebody tortured, like East Palestine, Ohio. Why don't you know, just fucking explode all their homes? Which is really sad, but it's less suffering than what the hell that they suffered. In fact, there should have been a report done. What? What happened to those people? What happened to them? I care. Yeah. I don't really care about child molesters, but they're all in my life. What am I supposed to do? What the fuck? God, you just, you just live in hell. You know, <laughs> You're like every other person I know is a child molester. <laughs> That's really fucking sad. It really is. They're all weird. They all look like, um, uh, pretend all narcissists, and I can't say all of them, but, um, and my best friend's dad, Rosalind Cronk, they look like the child blaster in the video Warning by Green Day. And he has a crazy fucking nut in the car with a poor little girl, and he's giving this young kid that's ah, being tortured to death, you know, working where he's working in a factory and, and making horrible food. What a horrible life that kid had in that video. Like, yeah, you know, he didn't really have any... nothing good. That, that. And there's a fucking job list for, like, driving around with a little girl in the video and, and a little child blaster, um, I mean, yeah, the old man, ugly old man, child molester, looks like Rosalind Crock's dad, like, always to the T. Um, given the poor young kid tortured by work and does out of life, and, uh, giving them candy and he got sick. Like, <laughs> it's just horrible, yeah, it's just, that's life in hell, another day in hell, another child molester gets away with watching people get tortured, a little girl he has in his van, and, and a little poor young kids working to death at the factory. There you go, there's, there's hell on earth, there you go, same shit, different day. Another little mini movie is their redundant video, same shit. Whoever did that video is really cool. They just do the same shit every single fucking day. Life so. Like, yeah, you know, like, nothing changes in, in, their, in that little, <laughs> that little room. <laughs> they just do the same, the same newspaper. Uh, Marilyn Manson's ex-wife was supposed to be in that video, I guess. I mean, I, I saw that somewhere, I read that somewhere. And, um, it's like, um, so, right, at the end of the video, Billy Jerome Sean picks up the, the newspaper, and the girl freaks out because, you know, well, this is what she does every day. So, in reality, if the internet ever, like, you know, shuts down and somebody can't see their phone, what are they going to do? They're going to scream. Ah! <gasps> I can't, what, I can't go on the internet, ah, yeah, yeah, you know, there's nothing there, but they're taught that way, they're taught to be that way, they're ta taught to be empty, but then, I guess, you know, they're just empty themselves, it's just, 
He's a lousy. We live in a lousy, really crummy world. Where I, you know, I don't like to be used. Like I gave a girl, um, I'll just be open about it. I don't care. I gave her eight dollars, and really, I shouldn't be giving money to anybody. And um, she kept on doing wellness checks, not just one, but two. So I hope she sees this damn video. I, I didn't appreciate that. I, I gave you eight bucks. And I could say the bad word, but it's it's not worth it saying bad words. It really ain't. It doesn't get you anywhere to be mad and shit. It makes it a whole lot worse. And you're and then um the reason why victims can't judge because then the, then their attacker just gives them attacks them that much worse. No, that never happened. They're not. They're crazy, and that's what always happens over and over and over again. You live in hell. There's nothing good about this earth since nothing since you know, Latoya Jackson never ever um got justice as far as, you know, um, Mrs. Bobbitt did. So, Mrs. Bobbitt was able to write her book. I'm not even interested. You know, why would I want to read, you know, abuse? I wanted to read Philip McKenzie's book when it came out. But that's just depressing. And Marilyn Manson's. Like, you know, and... Um, at least Ozzy Osbourne's son loved his dad enough that this was nice. He interviewed his, he interviewed his dad. And I was, I was like, out of it, you know, he did too many drugs and shit. You like, oh, I, you know, he, Ozzy Osbourne doesn't have any confidence? Well, whatever. Um, his son loved his dad and did interviews. I thought that was sweet. It was nice to see that. It's nice to see somebody love somebody else. You barely see that. Oh, God. This world's fucking hell. Like, who the hell ever loved me? Oh, my God. Shit. Nobody in Leicester, that's for damn sure. Whatever. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, my life is complete, total hell. No, <coughs> no help at all. Just attack, attack. Call somebody important. Hang up the phone. <laughs> just make my. It's my life's just total hell. It really is. It is. I you know I. <coughs> I don't know why Lancaster. Everybody works in cahoots with each other. Like they they breach information all the time. They're not allowed to do that. HIPAA laws. They're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to um. Uh, Lancaster's horrible, and they, they protect the criminal, I, I mean, they, the child oh, molesters, they, they pr protect the most evil people, they're insane, I, I have nothing really good to say about, like, Lancaster, right? okay, there really is, because Lancaster is, okay, Lancaster, Pennsylvania is much better than Ephrata, okay, and Mannheim, and it's nice <coughs> if you're homeless because you have a chance to go to a meal, which no place does that, no other place does that, but it's still complete total hell trying to make it, like what, you know, oh my god, <coughs> and 